you know, this could be the stock of the month. It's emerging that way. Tesla, they're at $312 a share right now, up another 3.5%, 10 bucks higher. Let's bring in Mashable's chief correspondent, Lance Yulanoff, who says, I believe, Tesla's a technology company, not a car company, right? Yeah, well, first of all, they dropped the name, right? They, it was Tesla Motors, now it's just Tesla. Right, right. They brought in uh, like Solar they City, they acquired Solar City, and, uh, you know, they're kind of making this circle of products. Obviously, you have the car, you have the solar panels, and you have the power wall. And so it becomes this virtuous circle where you're pulling in electricity from the sun you, on, through the Solar City panels, you're storing it in your garage in the power wall, and then you're putting it into your Tesla car. So keep thinking about products that work in that sphere and, you know, yeah. Elon Musk thinks about more than one thing at one time. He's always thinking about a bunch of things. And the surprising thing is when he starts to connect the dots. I've always poo-pooed the guy. I oh, thought gosh, he was a, no. sort of a Barnum and Bailey sort of fellow. Not e well, I would agree if he didn't execute time and time again. The guy is somebody who says stuff and then does stuff. For example, we have the Boring Company, which is the craziest, silliest name ever. But it's about a tunnel, right? So doing tunnels for <laughs> short commutes from his office to LAX and places like that. And he already started digging. Like, he literally he started digging. Yes, he started digging. He found a spot. He, has, he owns his property. And he went down. <laughs> Well, I got that totally wrong. I, I the guy totally doesn't wrong. stop. And, you know, I've been impressed. I uh, interviewed him probably five years ago. We had a really great one-on-one. -on -one, and I was so impressed with the guy and even his time management skills and, yeah. you know, how he does things. And that when he sees a problem, he just attacks it. Is he, is he a Steve Jobs? Is he that good? Um, he hasn't had the kind of broad-based uh, consumer impact yet. How many Teslas are actually on the sure. road? You know, so that hasn't, he's not in the millions on units yet. If he gets a battery going that can really store juice for a long, long time, it's all bets are Please, I wish he would solve the battery technology issue because it runs through virtually everything we use right now. But he hasn't attacked that. That's, you know, he's a little bit more focused on Mars. I've got to get to <laughs> virtual reality. Yes. Uh, that's a, there's a complete switch, of course. But that's look. Fine. I thought virtual reality, VR, mm -hmm. was the next big thing, and it's not. No, so virtual reality is super hot for gamers, and I've seen a lot of it, I've tried a lot of it, but remember what virtual reality does. You put a helmet on, you cut off from the outside world. All right, so augmented reality, which is kind of a cousin for virtual reality, allows you to put the real world together with a virtual world, and then a lot of different things can happen. For example, you, totally you can... lost me. All right, totally so think about me. this. You're working on an outlet. And you have no idea how to fix it. You don't know anything about electricity. But what if while you're working on it, there's an overlay, a virtual overlay right in front of you that tells you exactly what everything is, tells you how to do it, and even has somebody helping you. But you can see all of it because you're wearing special, a special goggle like Microsoft HoloLens is a perfect mixed reality environment. You can see a lot more of that. And by the way, one of the biggest companies in the world, Apple, is much more interested in augmented reality than they are in virtual reality. And in fact, when we see the next iPhone 8 or iPhone X, whatever they call it, it will probably have some augmented reality component built in. How do you get augmented reality built into an iPhone? Uh, dual I thought cameras. You had to wear the helmet thing. Uh, no, dual cameras. A camera that looks at the environment and basically paints a 3D mesh so we can see what's out there and then puts what's from the phone on top of that. So on the screen, when you, and you can already do this, you can do augmented reality now with mobile devices. You look through the screen and you see two worlds combined. They take whatever's on the phone and put it on top of the world. But the better part about augmented reality is that it has an, an awareness of surfaces. That's what makes it cooler. So it becomes a much richer experience. Trust me, we will be talking about augmented reality five years from now. Virtual reality, maybe we won't. Augmented reality. Yeah, that's... AR. AR is going to be the thing. You're going to see a lot more of it. You, we've got 20 seconds. I want you to tell me how I might use AR in my daily life. So maybe you've got your producer sitting right next to you, yeah. you know, talking to you virtually while you're doing, you still can see the camera, you still can see you, and maybe it's something, maybe you've got just a little camera here or something like a little screen here, and you can see that. Uh, oh, wait a second, so, so he, he's not actually sitting next no, to you, no, but it he's, looks like it because I've got this. Right, uh, you could see there, or, I mean, I don't know, it depends on, like, if you have a hobby or something, if you like to fish, and you could wear the helmet, and then you were looking, and you could see where the fish were under the water because you have a sensor, but it puts it in front of you and combines it with the lake. And you think I might get that with an iPhone several years down the road? I think you will have augmented reality with an iPhone this year. Really? I think, that, I think that we're going to see that. We're going to see some sort of baked-in hardware wow. in the fall time frame. Okay, okay. This is what I believe.
Lance Yulanov, Mashable, thank you very much. So we appreciate right. that.